So you can see our 600 is within a range and we have to create something lower uh, to accommodate below that. So we have our 600 here. You can see that it changed all the effects as per our design. Let's explore responsive styles and how we can actually manipulate our designs uh, beyond constraints and anything that you can do programmatically. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for new and upcoming videos and let's jump right in. So what we're going to do is we already have a responsive design that we've created, but let's just uh, create another one for argument's sake. Okay, so what we're going to illustrate with our responsive design is how we can manipulate styles beyond constraints. So here's a quick thing let's do. So for instance, we know that we have a couple different colors here. Let's find the color. Let's actually change some of our shapes to reflect that color. So actually just remove the style. Let's give it a fill of blue. Let's do the same for the top. Again, this is a style. Let's remove it. Okay, maybe our text is supposed to be orange. And maybe it's supposed to have a shadow. Who knows? Now don't get caught up with the design really just illustrating the fact that you can change anything that you like with your responsive design and export kit will convert that this goes way beyond anything that you can do programmatically with constraints uh, within any design environment uh, let's see what else we can change eh, why not this too and we forgot the background here So you can see now we have a complete different design. Uh, let's really quick now illustrate this for another screen size because we already have 700 defined. So let's maybe make this 650 or uh, why not 600. So now that we have this at 600, what we want to do is actually change the width to 600 as well. Now we might have some content clipped. Uh, we didn't really we didn't really plan for the size or measure to it directly. We're just actually testing how this will turn out in the output. Uh, let's maybe change this down a little bit. Let's assume this is what we want. Next thing we want to do before we export is we want to ensure that our layer orders are correct because this, these are CSS rules. So depending on your layer order is what it will render. So we want to make sure that we have highest to lowest. So let's export. So now we have our design for our desktop. This is our tablet design with our orange. And because we created another one at 600, let's bring it down a bit. Oh, there we go. So you can see our 600 is within a range and we have to create something lower uh, to accommodate below that. So we have our 600 here. You can see that it changed all the effects as per our design. So we can go beyond simple constraints and actually apply uh, completely different effects to our design based on the screen size.